This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. It has unstoppable run plays. Run. Explosive pass plays. And so many money plays your opponent won't be able to get you off the field. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, break yourself, fool! Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be using a new playbook entirely and showing you guys a brand new offense out of my Baltimore Ravens offensive ebook. This offense is easily the glitchiest playbook to use in Madden 23 right now, and I'll be using just one unstoppable offense all game. But before I do, if you guys want to see more offensive gameplay videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you guys want to see more money plays right now from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to your email for instant download. The offensive formation that I'm going to be using almost all game today is the gun empty quad i've already put out a video using this offense early in the year so if you guys want to see more from this formation i'll once again have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that the only adjustment i need to make is to make sure that i set my coaching adjustments from ball carrier to conservative and that is because the only run play in this formation is a quarterback run i just made a video breaking down all the best coaching adjustments to use and i'll once again have links in the description if you guys want to check that out but trust me when i say this if you run this offense without doing this you will fumble a lot but with this set you will notice that i will not fumble once this entire game as far as the audible plays i don't really have to change any of them as they're already set the four plays that i'm going to be using the most in this are the curl pivot dig which is a man beating play the quarterback blast which is my only run play in the formation the four verticals which is my zone beating play and the fourth play which is going to be the out double under which is a play that beats both man and zone as far as the reads go the first read i'm going to make every single time is a box count since this is the only formation in the game that has four wide receivers on one side of the field it will create a lot of opportunities for the quarterback blast in the run game since there's so many wide receivers on the field most people are going to come out in something like this matching with huge run lanes right up the center as quarter formations and dollar formations are really the only formations that have enough dbs on the field to match on the first play i can see the run lanes right away so i switch over to the quarterback blast before my opponent even has a chance to close up the lanes as he has clearly seen this offense before but i still have an even five on five in the box so i'm going to run it as it creates several advantages that will benefit me throughout the game and the entire system is really dependent on making him worry about stopping the quarterback blast run. Well, in the first place, since he pinched the line, I just know that I'm going to have to take it outside, and I do for a short four-yard gain. But the amount of yards I get isn't really as important as making my opponent aware of the constant threat of the run play because of how it will open up the rest of the offense. I run the hurry up, and on the next play, he makes the adjustment that I've been waiting for as now he is loading up the box to stop the run by switching over to his own coverage. Now that he has done this, I look to the receivers, which will now have a numbers advantage as well as we have four receivers with only three defenders in the immediate area. This offense is really just is predicated on this numbers game philosophy as I am now running a true 11 on 11 football offense. Normally it's only 10 on 11 because the quarterback doesn't have to be accounted for as much, but in this offense he has to be accounted for in every play now, taking away any advantage the defense usually has. So since I read zone, I'm going to switch to one of my zone beating plays, the four verticals, which I can run one of two ways. If I read cover two or cover three, like I see here, I can play aggressive and streak the tight end for a possible big play, but since I only need two yards, it's early in the game and I don't know what my opponent is going to do. I will run it the second more conservative way and that is by putting the tight end on a drag for an easy check down. It may look like the tight end is on a drag from the diagram but it's actually a option play where he could either stop in the middle of his zone or run all the way through in a man coverage so make sure to redrag this receiver. To run the play this way all you have to do is read the play from front to back starting with the drag and working my way back through the crossing receivers paying the most attention to where the user is in the area before I make my decision on where to go with the ball. On this play he clearly plays the two yards as all the zones including the user play underneath biting on the drag and clearing the way for a big play down the middle to the first crosser to get me in a field goal range. He gets me to a third and ten and continues to stack the box in an obvious zone blitz so I switch to the fourth vertical play once again only this time he uses the deep middle route Psych! only to leave the drag wide open underneath this time for a big catch and run. I continue with my hurry up offense and since he is still packing the box I continue to work the receivers as they still have the advantage and this is where the drive stalls as I get sacked into a fourth down and decide to take the field goal. 
On defense, I'm going to use my new cover two man setup, but I'm going to focus mostly on offense this entire game. So if you guys want to see more about the defense that I'm using, I'll once again have a link in the description and a pop-up on screen at the end of the video. On the first play, my opponent runs the ball and gets nothing, as this is surprisingly a really good run defense. I get him to a third and six, and he tries to beat me over the middle with some crossing routes. Gotcha, bitch! And my man coverage is all over that, as his first drive ends in an interception. Back on offense, he is still in zone and packing the box, so I'm going to use my third pass play from this formation. The out double under. All I'm going to do to set this play up is put the Y route on a zig if I see man or an out route if I see zone. And then I'm going to work the high low between him and the tight end. I do this because I have to work outside the hash marks to give my opponent a reason to leave the center of the field. Otherwise, he'll eventually just catch on to my four verticals play. As you can see, he's just sitting there in the middle of the field covering nothing as I pick the computer defense apart. That's just too easy. So on the next play after that, I just use a regular out route and almost pick up the first down, getting to a fourth and one. And this time I'm going for it. He stacks the box once again, but not enough to stop the quarterback blast as we get the first down we need. On the next play, you can see why you have to switch it up between the four verticals and the out double under because if you run one play too much, your opponent will eventually jump it. This time though, I was lucky that he couldn't time the pick right. So on the next play, I go back to the crossers and he is still waiting on that outside route for that tight end. That lead doesn't last very long though as my kick to the fullback goes a little bit too far and results in a touchdown return on the very next kickoff to keep this at a three point game. Back on offense, one of the benefits of your opponent constantly pinching the defensive line is that they will get no pass rush pressure from this look, compared to if they spread the defensive line, which means I can just stand in the pocket and pick a zone apart all game with short passes. He has been running cover three all game, so it's time to give him something else to look at. So on the next play, I make my first motion of the game with the Y route by motioning him across and putting him on a fade. Then I put the X route on a comeback route, and now we have our first one play touchdown of the game. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> And we are gone with the slowest receiver on a roster to take the 10 point lead back. On defense though, he does not go away as he gets a huge run on the very next play from his offense getting all the way into the red zone right before the two minute warning. We shut him down the next run though, then on second and eight we spread our line and watch the pressure we get from doing this as we get an instant stack. Spreading the line from formations like this gets so much easy pressure it's unreal, but my opponent can't do that because of the constant threat of run from my quarterback. As we get pressure again on the next play, forcing a short pass that results in me holding him to a field goal. Back on offense with only 35 seconds left, he is no longer pinching the defensive line as clock makes running the ball a bad idea. So I go back to the one play touchdown setup as I read cover three again, and if I would have held the ball a little longer, I might have been gone, but I felt just enough pressure that I wanted to get rid of it, and now he is back to pinching the line as I have all of my timeouts and running the ball is still in play. On the next play, I read man, so I switch to the curl pivot dig as every route here can beat man without any adjustments. My first read though is going to be the zig route, and it almost always gets open for another short gain and gets me out of bounds. On third and two, I lose the box count, but try to run it anyway. Nope. Only to get stopped short, and I decide to take a field goal to once again guarantee a two possession lead. Second half, my opponent is still running the rock heavy as he goes right down the field in two plays with the 0-1 trap from the gun tight. And now Aaron Jones is getting some ridiculous animations as he should have been tackled several times there as he slowly works his way down the field to get inside the five yard line before hitting me with a play action to his tight end who is wide open to get back within a field goal. Back on offense, I catch him in a four man box. So I switch to the run for seven yards on first down. Then I hit him with an out route for the first down on the next play before deciding to run a little bit more to kill some clock. On third and six, I reman blitz, so I make a zig adjustment this time and get an easy first down. One of my main goals now is to keep the clock going, so I start running with the quarterback more, which I can only do based off of the fact that he is pitching the line pre-snap, which causes the ends to get swallowed up when I leave the pocket, allowing me to scramble freely outside of the pocket like this is Madden 22. And now I'm just playing the clock with dink and dunk passes and short runs with the quarterback as I'm in total control before hitting the tight end on an out route one more time and I probably could have scored if I had a rat caught this but instead I safe catch it to keep the clock running instead. On the next play I read man and hit him with a zig that he is now double covering in the flat but I just have to wait a little bit longer before I get it out and now I'm in third and goal from the one and now with a minute and eight seconds left in the game I'm going to leave this formation for the first time to switch to the QB sneak as I ran only one formation the entire game. My opponent does get down the field using all of his timeouts in the process. He then decides to kick a field goal in hopes of getting an onside kickback. But this game is over.
as I could get it back and run one more QB blast to run out the clock, and I hadn't fumbled all game thanks to setting my coaching adjustment to conservative. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel and the video. Other than that, I will have videos from the offenses and defenses I was running throughout the game popping up on screen. So if you guys want to see that, just click the link because I'm sure it'll have a bunch of game. And that's it. Thanks for watching the Memory Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.